Hello fellow fuckers, my name is Fuck Himself, and this is the second part of my event of review mini-series. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the 2v2, street frag and payload events, and I'll be talking about tips and tricks, how to get the best amount of rewards from these events, uh, how fun they are, of course, in my opinion, and how much work you need to put in them. With all of that, I'm going to be ranking them in my event review tier list, just for my personal opinion, obviously. And hopefully you, you learned a few things from this video and you can get a little bit better at getting more rewards from the 2v2 payload and street frag events. So with all that said, let's get into the video. So all three challenges are very similar. There are events that let you play five games per day for four days um, every week into a specific game mode or you can get 20 tickets per win that you can use to spin a wheel and get rewards. So all three of those events give you the same reward and we're gonna talk about that now. So the best way to optimize the reward for each of those challenges is to play the events, each and every one of these events until you get 485 tickets. Of course, you can have more, but that number is the, the amount of tickets that you need to spend to get every single one of the rewards on the wheel. So the general strategy for this event that I have developed is just to play every single one of your games every day to get the maximum amount of tickets then when once you have over 485 tickets you wait until there is a good wheel that you can spin to get the best rewards so this means whether there is good skins on there um, maybe there's going to be a good legendary cards that you want that's usually the two um, the two things that i look at when i want to determine how good a wheel is once you get a good wheel, so let's say you have a legendary card that you want, plus some good skins on cards that you use, you can go ahead and spin the wheel as long as you have 485 tickets and you will be guaranteed to have every single one of the rewards on the wheel. Now, if we want to count the rewards that you get from the wheel, you'll see that it's really, really nice. First of all, you're gonna get two random skins. So that's pretty cool. Plus one legendary card. We've already talked about that. You're also gonna get joker cards and you're gonna get quite a bit. If you complete the wheel, not only are you going to have the joker cards that are on the wheel, you're also going to get the joker cards that you get from spending the tickets in the um, rewards area. So you're going to get maybe over a thousand joker cards just from one event. So that's really, really good. You also get gold, something like 10,000 gold. It's not that crazy, but it's pretty good. And you also get some skin coins, which is very nice. Uh, I think about 400 skin coins, which is pretty, pretty good. You can get a decent amount of skins just from those coins. You also get on top of that some common, rare and epic cards, which I usually don't care about, but it's nice too. But I think the best thing about this event is that it really does not take much time to complete it. It takes about, for me, it takes about maximum 30 minutes per day for the payload event and about 20 minutes for the 2v2 and street frag, or maybe 15 minutes for street frag. All three game modes are really, really fun, but personally, I think that the 2v2 game mode is the best one and um, you can tell me in the comments if you disagree but I think that most people will agree that 2v2 is probably the best game mode in frag so that's the one I have the most fun with and I, I would say that's followed with street frag and payload I don't think payload is as fun but it's still pretty fun and even to add to the rewards from playing these events you also get chests that you get for or on your chest area so that's really amazing you can get lots of chests just by playing those games every day and uh, if you're really good at opening those chests you can just play those five games and have a chest opening all day you'll not really have to watch ads if you don't want to and uh, that that will give you some additional rewards i mean you're gonna get if you just open the chest that you get from playing these uh, 20 games you, you might get like 3000 gold and tons of cards maybe even some frag powers so you know that that's a really nice bonus now if we want to get into the tips and tricks let's go and talk about every single game mode individually so we get 2v2 first of all i think the best thing that you can do to improve your chance of winning is to really find a good teammate that is the number one thing if you can find a teammate that just carries you into a win um, i mean you cannot complain about that although i wouldn't say it's the the, the best thing to develop your skills but you know whatever works i guess next thing you want to do is to run cards that you are comfortable with so for me i like to play more defensive uh, what i like to play in 2v2 is i run archon as a main and i have more Copoyo and scrapper which usually tends to work with a lot of people i play randomly online because uh, this leads me to my next point play in according to your opponent and to your teammate 
if your teammate wants to play more aggressive, I think it's it's good to stay in the back and um, defend really more your bunkers, which is something I like to do. While if they want to play more defensive, you can go ahead and try to trust them a little bit, especially if it's a teammate that you have chosen to play with, if it's one of your friends. And uh, you can go and attack a little more, I would say. But don't try, I, I don't think it's the best strategy to just both try to push, because if it doesn't work, you might be in trouble a little bit. So that's what I have to say for uh, 2v2. Now for Street Frag, I mean, the, 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 the number one advice I would give you is to play Scrapper. And I'm not saying that because I, I like Scrapper, obviously I do, but uh, Scrapper is the number one best card in Street Frag easily. Um, I mean, unless he's gotten nerfed by the time you're seeing this, but I don't think he will be. So it's a simple trick that makes it insanely easier to win in Street Frag because he will just heal your bunkers every like 10 seconds and um, it's gonna make it impossible for your opponent to just destroy your bunker by sheer uh, force. They're gonna have to, to play really, really well if they want to do that. Now, on top of that, if you want, you can go ahead and look at my Street Frag tier list. Of course, it's definitely outdated and there's some information that you should uh, take with a grain of salt because um, cards have gotten nerfed. But I think 90% of it is accurate. So you can maybe look at it a little bit if you want. Outside of that, I would tell you also, don't waste your time trying to rush the bunkers if your opponent has crapper because, uh, well, you're just gonna waste your time. And on top of that, I guess, just like 2v2, try to play cards that you're comfortable with, play a good main and try to um, to defend as much as you can while if your opponent doesn't have scrapper uh, try to attack their base a little bit so that's pretty much it now for payload i think as opposed to scrapper in street frag sombrero is the best maybe the best card in payload um, and the reason why is because once you get kills you you spawn sombrero bombs and those will stay in near the payload and they it's a way to really keep the payload always under pressure always have something attacking the payload if there's um, defenders around the payload, you will just get rid of them with the sombrero bombs because they're gonna explode. So I think it's really good and I always try to play sombrero in my uh, payload games. Of course, as usual, play, play cards you're comfortable with, but I think my number one card I like to play is Archon again in payload. Uh, maybe you're seeing some sort of trend, but I really like to play Archon in those, uh, in those game modes because the, the, the field is really wide, so you can go and snipe everybody. It's really fun anyway but i mean i guess play, play cards you're comfortable with doesn't really matter you don't have to play archon at all some more advice is defend uh, try to do a defensive command when you're attacking so that your ai stays near the bunker and uh, number one protects uh, they have to protect your bunker or the payload i should say and second thing they can they can also accelerate the payload so uh, if there are cards near your payload they can accelerate your payload, it can go faster and that helps out a lot. If you want to win the game faster, uh, it's a great way to do it. And if you're trying to defend while accelerating your payload, try to do an, at an attack command. I think that's that's pretty common sense. And if you do that, a simple trick that can help you out a lot and you really don't. It's just a habit you can take and it 99% of the time will help you. So I think that's all the advice I can give you. And uh, we can jump into the final review of the events. So first of all, I have Payload, which I've decided to put in A tier. Uh, it's a really fun event, and even if it's not the most fun of the three game modes, I think it can give you a lot of rewards and super quickly, so that's why it's in A tier. Now in S tier, I've decided to put Street Frag and 2v2 events uh, right in there. And the reason why is because, number one, they, are, they don't take as much time to complete, Although you can you can maybe argue that the 2v2 takes more time because there's more issues uh, with the server and such, but whatever, let's let's just not mention that. But I think even if it takes more time and there's more issues, overall it's much more of a fun game mode. You can play with um, with people in your club, so that uh, that is also very nice. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's why I think it's an S tier. I think it's, these are all amazing game modes, but I decided to to put the street frag and. Uh, 2v2 game mode in the top uh, as the best events in the game but that's my opinion of course tell me in the comments if you disagree uh, in the next video i'm solely going to be talking about the champion series so this is the event that happens every season during the weekend uh, where you can play games online with different cards and get rewards and get more trophies uh, not only will i be talking about that i will also be giving you five decks that you can use in this event to play and to win games 
So with all of that said, I hope you learned something in this video. And I, I sincerely hope you try the event of either Payload, Street Frag and 2v2 when it comes up. Try to save your tickets as much as you can until you get 485 and you're you're gonna get much uh, a lot more rewards um so i guess this is the one advice i want you to 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 keep i think a, a lot of players in the beginning of the game just spend their um just spend their tickets as soon as they as they have them but that's not the way to go you really want to save them until you get the 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 ability to get the whole wheel and uh, get all of the rewards so again thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.